Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to find the greatest common denominator by using the Euclidean algorithm. So for this first example, I've got the numbers 10 and 45, and the greatest common denominator is going to be the largest number that divides both 10 and 45 evenly. So in this case, it's going to be the number 5, but if we couldn't see that, we could use the Euclidean algorithm to find the same answer. So what we do is we take the larger of the two numbers, so in this case it's going to be 45, and then we set it equal to the smaller number times some number q plus some number r. So the q is how many times 10 goes into 45. The r is the remainder of that result. So for our case, it's going to be 45 is equal to 10 times 4 plus 5. 10 goes into 45 four times with a remainder of 5. So the next step and all the remaining steps is we take the number that's in this position and we move it to where this number was on the left hand side. And then we take our remainder and we move it to where this number was. And we just kind of follow this pattern all the way down until we get a remainder of 0. So for our case we're just going to get rid of the 45 and move the 10 where the 45 was. And then the 5 goes where the 10 was. So now we're asking ourselves, 5 goes into 10 how many times? 2 times with a remainder of 0. So now that we have a remainder of 0, we simply look back at the previous remainder, and this is our greatest common denominator for the original two numbers. So let's try this for this bigger example here now. So we take the larger of the two numbers, 3,768 and set that equal to 1,701, the smaller number, times some number plus some remainder. Well, 1,701 goes into 3,768 two times with a remainder of 366. Now moving this to the left-hand side here, 1,701 is equal to 366, moving that over, times 4, and that's plus 237. So 366 goes into 1,701 four times with a remainder of 237. Moving the 366 to the left hand side now, 237 where the 366 was. So 237 goes into 366 one time with a remainder of 129. 237 moving that to the left hand side now. 129 goes where the 237 was, and 129 goes into 237 one time with a remainder of 108. Moving the 129 to the left hand side now, and the 108 to where the 129 was. 108 goes into 129 one time with a remainder of 21. 108 is equal to moving the one or moving the 21 over here. So 108 is equal to 21 times 5 plus 3. And then one last step here, moving the 21 to the left hand side. 21, moving the 3 to where the 21 was. 3 divides 21, goes into 21 7 times with a remainder of 0. So now we just simply look back to our previous remainder. And this is the greatest common denominator of our original two numbers. So the greatest common denominator of 1,701 and 3,768 is the number 3. So you guys have an excellent day. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.